We are a part of University Robotics Association KNR, which operates at the Faculty of Power and Aeronautical Engineering at the Warsaw University of Technology. The main focus of our association is to design and build highly advanced robots for international competitions, including an autonomous car, a humanoid robot and many smaller mobile robots. Last year, we managed to qualify for URC finals at our very first attempt. We have gained a lot of experience, learned some very important lessons and now we are proud to say that we are ready for the URC 2019. Our rover is designed as a modular robot based on an agile and robust mobile platform. We chose a rocker buggy suspension, which has proven to be more than suitable for traversing demanding terrain at URC competition. For almost two years, we have been developing our own wheels, looking for the best solution to provide both traction and damping. For this year's edition, we have prepared yet another iteration of our design. Our wheels are going to be made of lightweight polyurethane foam combined with durable rim from aluminum and 3D prints. The tread has been designed specifically for rocker buggy suspension to allow better turning. To improve cooling and accessibility, we have redesigned our chassis. It now has an air tunnel equipped with fans to allow better airflow through engine drivers. We have also created a whole new electronic system that is more reliable. It will be able to conduct higher currents, be protected against surges and the heat will be dissipated from the system more effectively. To compete at extreme delivery and retrieval, as well as equipment servicing missions, our rover uses a 6 degree of freedom manipulator capable of lifting up to 5 kg with inverse kinematics implemented. The team has been redesigning components in order to make it lighter, stiffer and more precise. For our science module, we have decided to use a rotating brush instead of a drill to collect a surface sample. Collected sample is mixed with water and then, using a system of water pumps, pipes and valves, our filtrate is split between several colorimetric tests that detect peptide bindings, nucleate acids and carbohydrates. To obtain better accuracy in color observance, we are going to use a photospectrometer of our own construction. In order to accomplish the autonomous traversal mission, our rover will go to the given GPS coordinates and start searching the nearby area for marker. Location information is acquired from GPS and IMU. To ensure safety of our rover, we use Landsat images to predefine no-go zones. For marker detection, we have decided to use OpenCV followed by deep neural networks. Above that, we use LiDAR for close proximity obstacle avoidance. We cannot wait to participate again. See you at the URC.